is Golden Fur, and welcome to another episode of my Feed the Beast Infinity Survival. That's right, we are back. And as you can tell, I've done a little bit of work. I've started to build the treehouse. Um, just so that uh, I know I'm going to need some expansion here. And I've gone through this island and got all of the botanical botania flowers and a couple other islands uh, to the east and cleared off some over there. And the reason is that I was thinking, how do I separate this from um, from the rest of my series? Well, we're going to spotlight and do different mods until we get to a critical juncture to where we can't do anything else for a while. So we are going to abandon Tinkerers right now. And we're not going to do Ars Magica or Thumbcraft yet. We are going to start off with our Lexica Batania. That's right. We started a little bit. We got it. Um, so here we go. The Lexical Botania is a repository of all knowledge for all botany-related matters. You will prob you probably already knew that. Well, whatever. All information is stored here as expected for convenience. If a block happens to have an entry, it can be shift-right-clicked with the Lexical Botania to open the entry. Uh, any entries... Any entries typed in italics are basic entries, which contain the very basic knowledge required for to play. They should be prioritized over others. Most uh, most of the sections contain one or more, so good look. Looking through is a good idea. That's how we made it. Um, the Lexipotania title can be customized, placed in the anvil. One cannot only change its cover, but also its title. The edition so is equivalent to the version of Britannia you're running. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, mystical flowers around the world. You may have stumbled upon a very large shift. Click to remove it. Uh, uh, around the world, uh, variety spotting these doesn't make take much work or effort. They emit a fair amount of shine. Uh, Sixteen different colors. It's possible to grow these with floral fertilizer. Read on. Flowers, as far as the eye can see, these flowers can be plucked from mystical petals. It can be used for making uh, magical instruments and plants. Right clicking a petal on the ground will bury it, having it emit particles. These petals can also be crushed into a flower floral powder, which functions must much alike any mun mundane piece of dye. Okay, so that's how you do it. Mystic flower, you get your petals. Uh, so if we're going to crush it, we need a mortar and pestle, which is bowl, a pestle and mortar, excuse me, grinding petals, right clicking the floral powder on any wool or carpet changes the color, uh, by mixing the floral powder, floral powder and bone meal, it's possible to create different types of fertilizer. The floral fertilizer will grow small amounts of mystical flowers in the nearby vicinity if you ever run low. So that's how you do it. Bone meal and any color. And you can also use the dyes as well. Okay. It's a shapeless recipe. Alright. So, Petal Apothecary. In order for a botanist to create plant life, they can do one's bidding uh, you need luckily infused plants. Luckily, the petal apothecary does just that. Like such, it's a petal apothecary. This block, when placed in the open world, is given some water. Water bucket uh, will attempt will accept any mystical petal and release once it has correct 
petals in it, throw in some seeds, it will fertilize, uh, it will finalize the process, tossing in a full bucket. In the full bucket will also fill the receptacle with water. Quite a few plants can be made using this. Uh, function, read on the functional flora, generating flora lexicon. Shift right clicking, the apothecary remove with an empty hand will remove the last item thrown in it. Instead of water, one can place lava in this block. If that's done, it will serve as a brazier and incinerator, destroying any item that comes in contacting it. Tossing in vines also gives the block an overgrown visu visual. So we need slabs, cobblestone, and a petal of some sort. Okay, so let us. Okay, so we need. Um, that. What is my most abundant? Okay. Light green. Let's get our petals. Come in here. Okay, so the petal apothecary is this. That. And one. Petal apothecary. Um, where's... Where's my iron? Do I... should have some iron somewhere. There it is. Let's get a bucket. Alright, our petal apothecary. Um, we'll put it here. And we will make an endless <laughs> endless water supply here. Yeah. Um and sorry if the video shows up as choppy. I am uh, changing up some of my settings. Alright. There we go. Ta-da. Alright. Oh, we need to go sleep really quick. <laughs> All right. So we got the lexic we got that. Uh pure daisy. The pure daisy is not only the most basic but also the most important flower. A botanist can have the flower will purify any adjacent wood and stone blocks as seen in the next page into their purified counterparts living wood and living rock which can be used for crafting. Okay, so wood and stone. Stone. So let me go ahead and get this going here. Alright. Uh, okay, so it looks like you put down a pure daisy and surround it. And then with the living wood you can get twigs. Oh, okay, so I need four petals. Okay. Alright, I'm going to do two of them. Okay, so if I'm correct, I need eight. 
and I need two seeds. Okay, so to get the pure daisy, I need to toss in and then pure daisy. There we go. So let's do that again. There we go. All right. So now where are we going to... I think we're going to just do it right here. And yes, I did take down the totem while, while we were offline. And by the way, apparently I just have a ton of blue orchids around. Because um, everywhere I turn. That is just awfully loud today. I mean, every single corner that I turned, I had... Um... A blue orchid. Okay, so that and that. All right, do I have wood on me? Not enough. Do I have any wood? Wood, wood, wood. Okay. All right, so let's put this down. All right. And we'll let that go while that's going. All right. Uh, runic, uh, runic creation is a rather important complex advantage. Botanist, first and most important, uh, decent knowledge of mana manipulation. Before read through this important entry, those in italics in the Lexica Botania. Okay. On the section, might enlighten everything. Okay, mana manipulation. Uh, well, the general multiple is the wand of the forest. This wand is made by. Oh! Living wood? Wow, okay. So we have a living wood. Let me make another stone axe. I'm saving my iron because, frankly, I don't have too much of it. So I'm going to save it for later. I need to go caving. That's what I definitely need to do. Alright. Let me go ahead and make some more...
Mm -hmm. Just trying to find a place for all this is just really, really tough. Tater. Where's wood? Give me my wood. Alright. So let's go ahead and put this in here. Hey, get out of my way. All right. Now, where were we? Uh, Wand is strapping a pair of mystical flowers on uh, to a few living wood twigs required for the task to get a mount. Uh, the wand has two modes, bind mode and function mode. In the bind mode, you can shift right click, uh, select it, binds two blocks. The function mode will simply not do for the shift right. The two modes can be switched freely by shift right clicking in the air. If the wand isn't bound to anything, shift right click to allow it to be rotated on the axis. For example, rotating the top of clicking on the top of it rotates it. Most blocks can be rotated should work. Okay, so I need three twigs and petals. To do, okay. All right, so we need living wood because we need to make twigs. Okay, how do we make twigs again? Oh, okay, it's vertical. Three. Okay. Now, of course, we're going to get the colors that I want. Let's get our stuff here. Since we have living wood now. Now, if I'm correct, we're going to have to continue to do this at least I'm assuming I might need to go and uh take a look at a uh video too. some more trees. Alright, let's sleep and then let's we'll make our wand. Alright, now the wand is like that. And really, how many of you did not think I was going to do that? I mean, look. Look at my character model. Really? I mean, come on. All right. So, here we go. Okay, so we need to go into mana manipulation. Okay. Mana is an ethereal substance, uh, term sensors. Uh, its sensorial existence is inconsistent. 
and its color depends on the environment. Mastering mana is one of the most important skills a botanist needs to master. In order to create mana, one must one would require a set of generating flowers. Read the respective station. This mana is dispersed, utilizing mana spreaders, stored in mana pools, and can be used for a myriad of different things. For starters, it can be used for functional flowers. Uh, to get started mastering the art of mana, one would start by learning to use day blooms, mana spreaders, and mana pools. These form a basic infrastructure of mana, which can be used for all sorts of purposes. Have a read at functional flora and magical apparatus sections in this lexicon. And with that, we are going to call this one an episode. I want to thank everybody for joining me. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode. If you have, please leave a rating. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the space provided, and I will answer them uh, as soon as I can and uh, to the best of my ability. Um, hey, why not? Uh, if you watch me for the first time or have been a long-time watcher and haven't subscribed, go ahead. Uh, subscribe away. That way you get all the updates to what I'm doing. Uh, and, uh, you know, I try to sit down and um, give you guys at least one video a day if I can. Uh, my time has become very, very sporadic as of late. So, with that, I hope you all enjo enjoyed this episode. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.